Hey everybody. Now we had a beautiful night last night. Uh, no wind, everything was just gorgeous, perfect temp, and today it's blowing like mad again. Uh, windy as all get out, so it's time to go work on the trailer. that done a little spacey today sorry <laughs> oops I ain't even paying attention where the camera's aiming sorry about that um, 72 Chevy owner he got a hold of me and says he's got a new flux plate starter and solenoid coming for that we go, oh, okay that's fine if it's too windy I might just My trailer's probably okay now. I got the one that was really loose. Taking care of it. I greased the others. I'll probably be okay. I'll be okay for this trip. I just... Oh, yeah. I got to do something before I leave town. Remind me <laughs> to uh, get into town before 5.30. And uh, bring a couple of bigger wrenches with me. So I can finish up my kids' plumbing so they leave me alone. Try to do the pipe we need to go from the faucet down to the spigot. I can't find that oddball length, so he has to cut it off and then re-thread it for me. So he almost wanted to cut it off of where I marked it. I said, no, that's where the threads need to end. Oh, gotcha. So he's busy, so I go do it, get it later. Yeah, I would have showed you guys doing all that plumbing work, but it took way longer than it should have. I was a hurting unit. But we got it hooked up and working. Uh, let's see, with that being mounted to the, the, the soldered to the copper pipes, we eliminated the copper pipes because the uh, Soldering was starting to grow because of our town water. Yeah, our town water is bad. That's why I got two filters on ours before I drink, even think about drinking it. Uh, so we got that. And, uh, Alright, we're going to get out of the shop and figure out what we're going to do. I, I got a couple of more calls to make to see if the bolts got here for the 454 and see what the ranger guy decided so alrighty hey I would have showed you guys but the right the passenger side rear tire was okay no wobble the front one over there had wobble I pulled the pin tightened the nut put the pin back in greased it because that was a brand new axle a few years ago and evidently nobody has put any grease in there from day one. Just getting ready to put the tire back on. I figured out why the trailer brakes ain't working on both axles. So I'm gonna repair that. I'd have you out here with me, but as you can tell it's so dang windy. Oh, and the cornfield just went away. They're getting rid of the cornfield. So I'm gonna fix those wires, put the tire back on. And the tire that goes there, I might go ahead and put back on. See how it wears with it. Uh, I thought I had cords showing on it, and I don't. It's just got funky wear, and it's a, it's a trailer tire. So, all right, I want to repair that. Just my freaking luck. I had to use that to get that nut to heat up, but it destroyed that stud and that stud. And I really don't want to take it apart. Ah, darn it. Oh, uh, just my freaking luck. Boy, this wind really blows. Jeepers. I gotta go buy uh, two more new nuts. Oh, I threw them away. Uh, I showed you guys. I got, had an old hub here. 
knock them out. And hi, Carolina man, that was your ding. Uh, I got two studs there and I got one on there. But I'm taking that nut to get the right one. And then I'll pick up some extra studs and nuts, so I got them on hand. Uh, this wheel, that wheel, and the front passenger were loose. The back, back passenger one was perfect. So I tightened this one up, tighten that up. And like I said, when I opened that up, there was no grease in the axle. So when I put that in new, it wasn't fully greased. But the bearings ain't chewed up, so that tire probably will go a while. I want to see how it starts wearing, see if it stops wearing funny. It may not since it's already chewed up, but... Fired the old dually up, moved that around because I want to get that motor there, off there. And I need to get the oil pan off the old 4-2 motor and get that cleaned up. And then the rest of that can get stripped down for dirty aluminum, I guess. That transmission on there, I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Cornfield's almost gone. They're really going through it today. So, uh, just trying to figure out if, what it was, if the reason I was getting this going and ready to go is going to happen this weekend. So, that poor license plate. I want to need a new one again. I've already replaced that once. So, yeah, maybe this next summer we're going to tear the wood off this, blast this thing, and give it a new coat of paint and give it a new deck. So, alrighty. That belongs to an axle I got outside, but I've been throwing it around here, and actually that hub needs to be replaced anyway. And it's been laying around here eight years, and today I finally needed some of it. That's the one I stole the studs out of to uh, fix mine. Uh, the axle that belongs to, I need to get it rebuilt. And then find another one like it. Um, oh. I'm just bush. It's amazing how much the wind takes out of you. And I hate this camera without the lens on it. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. Look for a new lens. Uh, got a phone call from the 72 Chevy owner a little while ago. They are off getting a new starter flywheel. Uh, thermostat and the water neck for it. <laughs> Jeepers. I'm like, ah! Oh, and then when I uh, went and picked up the motor yesterday for him, the machine shop guy is like, how much you getting for those? I told him, so maybe I'll get some money up and go over and say, hey, I need work done on this. Maybe we can do some swapping. You know, the old barter system, that worked pretty good. Like I told the wife, I said, we live pretty good. Then I think that's how her and I started out. I had so many car parts, and I was able to trade do this, do that, and everything else, and, uh, you'd be amazed what, how you could do, and then sometimes, some stuff come along, I just sold, simply traded for it and sold it, so, told the wife, we now thanks to this motor being redone, because he wanted the better top end and all that in it, we now got everything to finish the wife's motor, and probably put that up for sale. So anybody knows they want a good motor, mine's gonna be getting built here pretty quick. And we'll do like everything else, fire it up on the stand and see how it does. So, well, I got, I'm just spacing, kind of waiting on these guys to get here. I think they're bringing the stuff because I told them about where I was, so. And then I gotta get to town before 30. Maybe I can get my oldest to be 
quiet. <laughs> yep. I have filled that up. If my hot tank needs water, I got some other jugs. I got water out here again. And while I've been messing with this, they come over the phone. We got a free snow warning for tonight. Yeah, not. So I'm bucketing this in, and if it doesn't need all this, hopefully I'll have it down light enough to where I can lift it out of the truck, and then I'll pull the dually ahead and uh, get the two-wheel cart and roll the rest in the shop so it don't freeze tonight. So, oh, pail's almost full. I gotta go back. Well, got the water in. Hot tank's heating up. It's gonna be later at night than what I thought. We got the 135-3603 uh, big block with dark Chevy bow tie heads. This is what I was told to get for bolts. So we're going to open this one up. So I'm not in a view there, but like I said, I'm going to be looking for a new lens for the camera. So, let's see what we got here. Should have a few different lengths. Ah, that's what I'm looking at. I got a few. We got our shorts. They're all nice and oily. Where can we lay these at? Tank's about warm. I've got a few things to run through, so I might. So, when well, I'm out here, I want to screw this pipe stuff together and get that together and grab a couple of inches. So, I'll either do it tonight or in the morning before I leave town since it's going to be so dang cold. So, if I don't get to it tonight, I'll be in the morning. Alright. So, alright, that. I just made somebody happy. My kid, I mean, uh, I ain't even in her ring. She's uh, got a working shower. And I'm trying to do stuff. She thinks her stuff needs to come first. Dang, I'm Getting a little fed up with that. some longer ones in here. Our difference. I hold them. Uh, 
that's washer to washer, and that's how much difference. And I'll show you guys. Come on. There's the heads. See the difference? So, yes! Two, four, six, eight. Yep, there's eight of them. And one, two, three, four. That's it. Eight. Two, four, six, eight of the short ones. Okay, yep. Cool beans! That means I need to get back on the 454! I wish I had that head tore apart. I would uh, turn that through the hot tank right now because I can. Good. That's good. Now we can get back on track. All right. All right. Cool. Because that head needs to be completely washed and cleaned again. But it's full of findings and that. I got a set of heads. Uh, I've got access to do having uh, either I'll do it or the guy will do it for me, he said, of having heads redone. As long as they don't need guides or seats, he can fix them or do them. So that means I've got Chop Shop's old heads I can take up and get fixed and done. I got the heads off this 350 slash 327 thing, that, um, that Morphodite. I can uh, take those up and have them double checked. And I've got some other heads that I could get done and get ready. Other one said I want to buy another set of valves and cut, have those cut out. So. Yeah. This is where I wish my wife was on better terms with her dad. Because he's my ex-machinist. And they haven't talked to us in two years now. <laughs> I've been with his daughter for over 23 years. So. It ain't... I. They've... Some people have changed here in this world lately. I got a sliver in my hand, didn't even know it. So I'm going to get the hot tank clean, uh, cleaned. Hot tank heated up. And then we're going to throw that 350 block in there. The heads to that. Maybe I'll get my valve spring compressor out. Take these valves out of this head here. And wash the 454 head up so it's done and ready. And I guess tomorrow... As you heard, I'll probably do my kids' plumbing in the morning. And, uh... Come out here, and... I got a new motor there. I'll check in with the 72 Chevy owner, see if he got what he was wanting after today. Uh, get that done. Get that ready to run. Put this 454 together. And maybe go haul a race car this weekend. Oh yeah, did I tell you guys I got the trailer taken care of? I don't remember. Anyway, I got the trailer taken care of. Had to turn the nuts. All the cotter pins turned the nuts about three quarters turn and pumped full of grease again. So took it down the road and hey, when I turn the corners, the tires didn't tip no more. They stood straight as a so. Like I said, the cords ain't out of that one tire, so it might start wearing. Yeah, I did talk about that. Sorry. Some days, I when I if I don't keep the camera within range and keep going, and then I go from one job to the next, I forget what I talk about. So I don't know. Am I wrong putting my daughter off? I mean, yes, it needs to be done, but I gotta hopefully. I gotta put that pipe and stuff together. Actually, I gotta go get that pipe, bring it in, wire brush the threads clean that he cut. And uh, she's always calling and, hey, well, I got this to do. Oh, uh, I like. When I got something to do, it's like she always wants me to put it off. So, 
I, I, I just don't know. I got another set of heads here that I'll have to get some replacement valves, sandblast them. Well, I'll probably have to take those to a machine shop. Because those are probably going to go on a 283 of the AR. A 1995 305 Vortec head. I will put it on that 283 and find me another Vortec intake. I think I stuck on that 327. Now I'm kind of wishing I would have kept that intake. I haven't come across another one since. and They're not cheap to get, but. And then I can uh, put that 283 in something. knows I forgot water today and I had a pop you don't know about how bad I missed my water today and the old boy in town that makes torch carts for what he charges for them I can't afford well I can't make it for what he charges for them and uh, yeah, somebody spoke for that one and uh, so I guess I'm going to have to go for memory and uh, make one because I learned a lesson I won't ever get rid of my torch again until I'm dead and by then I'll have Mason talk and he'll keep Grandpa's tools So, all right, I want to check the temp on that hot tank, and I guess I'm going to start wrestling that block in there and start spraying it down with Simple Green. That's what I've been using. Buddy of mine got into it when we were doing that Ford pickup and power washing that, and he dang near used a whole bottle. I'm blabbing, so let me get on that hot tank. There you go. It's in there. It's been sprayed down. Simple Green. I asked it before. We're going to clean her up. See what we got. So, there you go. She's a cooking. Huh. Look at that. I had corn in this uh, engine stand. I tipped it up. And that all fell out of the engine stand there. Dar mice. Well, let's see what we got so far. It's been about a half hour in there. Holy moly! Wow! That thing came really clean. Wish the rest of it would have done that. That's those green heads there. I don't know why anybody would paint it green, but. Wow! Hot tank's working real good tonight. I might lay it down, reposition it, and uh, let it go for a few more minutes. <coughs> Remember that dirty grease ball 350 slash 327? Look at it now. It's clean. And let's see, this block is a I A B C D E F G H I. That's 912 of 79. This is a 79 motor. 39710. Dipstick. Driver side. No provision on the passenger side. So this is a 1979 motor. Might have checked. See if. Uh, yep, they're still there. Let's see. Let's see what that says. I'd be closer to the motor to put in the Camaro. Oh, it, it, yeah, it's supposed to have come out of a pickup. That's right. Huh. Okay. C E nine B one three six four two and. 
Since this is a rebuilt motor, who knows if that's the correct, because I don't know if it's been decked or not. I haven't polished it up to see. It looks like it's still the original decking, so... Yeah, there you go. Now you can... Now you can see them. CE9... B3... Uh, CE9B43642. But it's a 79 block. Yeah, I know some spots didn't clean, but I got to hone this thing, uh, change the cam bearings, and that I just wanted to get the grease off because everywhere I was putting it, I was getting oil drippings all over the floor. So, but cleaned it up. Now, remember that bell housing that was there? I haven't opened the door. I just shut it off. See what that thing looks like together. Remember how greasy it was and how greasy it still is. Wow. That thing's nasty. I thought that would have cut it right off. Huh. Well, it was really nasty though. It, let's see how the outside looks. The outside, well, the outside's cleaning up. Hmm. Well. <laughs> and that's all clutch and who knows what's all over in there well, we'll let that soak for a little bit. Hit it again. And uh, now I got my hands so greasy. I don't know how I'm going to shut you guys off. Well, it didn't come as clean as what I was hoping for. And it's late. It is heck. I'm just going to leave it in there tonight. All right, it's aluminum. It's not going to rust. What that's for is uh, if I ever get another Ford motor that be the bell housing I can mount a Ford motor on here and run it so we don't have issues. So yeah, I'm spending a late night out here and I just got talking, done talking to one of the supposed, I can't say yet, guys. Uh, <laughs> just talked to him for about an hour and getting some details worked out and it's going to turn, it's going to get fun around here. Lots of things. They're going to start going through the, through this door. So, anyway, I guess I better get home before everybody thinks I'm lost or whatever. So, all right, see you all later. Have a good one. Hey, everybody. You know, you guys are probably wondering where I'm at. I'm around. I'm okay. I just last couple of days of recording hasn't amounted to really anything, so I never used it. I did plumbing repair over at the kids I about did me in uh, I gotta get the intake gaskets in this and clean the throttle plate uh, now there's my plumbing box right there I use that peck stuff and I get it all together last night in the one hot water thing I took it apart once it just will not seal I've got the thread tape and everything on it, and it just, I was missing a wrench, so I got it to where they could uh, turn it on and off with the shutoffs and use their shower at least. Um, so, that was a lot of hours of running and trying to uh, get stuff I needed. First time ever meeting somebody in the alley. 
nice and let me go first. Uh, didn't have to. I had to. But anyway, uh, yeah, medicines. It's the oh yeah, uh, that was yesterday's. Uh, I seen doctor the other day and uh, or yesterday, and he kind of chewed me out for uh, trying to get a regular full-time job. Um, yeah, he wasn't happy with me. And he informed me the feeling I have lost in my feet. Once we get this under control again, I probably won't get back. Oh. No. So, yeah, that's the bad news. But right now, I'm going to go over to the 72 Chevy guy. And I think we're going to go pick up a motor. I talked about that the other day, and I didn't use the video, so. Yeah. And then yesterday I kept running around, running around, thinking, God, I'm forgetting something, I'm forgetting something, I'm forgetting something. Finally remembered what it was this morning. Forgot to call the phone company about our internet, but I did get that done. So you guys will see a video tonight. <laughs> or wait, well, you're watching the video, so thank God I remembered that. So anyway, uh, we'll talk to him. Well, if he doesn't mind it, I might put him on the video later, and you can meet the. 72 Chevy owner and uh, we got the okay to go pick it up so that's where we're heading now got my little engine stand and we'll go see about getting here so all right oh I got something sitting back there <laughs> boy does that look nice so well, we got work to do Nice new Virgin Motor. Uh, see the blocks made in Mexico. That shit's here and there. It runs and runs. It's got that all set up. There's the extra heads and all that. Summits. There you go. Well, that's for me to look up later. See what those are. Not a bad motor. But I'm going to. Ford Ranger guy hasn't made up his mind, so that's got to be rolled out of the way now. And uh, I got to get in the shop and move stuff around. Get the motor in. So, alright. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm glad everything's on wheels, otherwise, I'd really be in trouble. Yep, all that stuff that was at that end of the shop. Oh, hey, looky there. Look what we're getting ready to bring in. Went to use my lift plate. Just a second here. Oh, ow. Oh, that hurt. <clears throat> Went to use my lift plate, and he's got a, a wide bore carburetor. And say so. Now I gotta figure out how to hook on this thing without marring anything up. We got that chain style. So I guess I'll get her turned sideways and see what I can do. So, all right. Okay, there it is. And also with doing this deal. Since he changed the heads, we got a set of brand new heads for Mama's motor build here. So we're doing some dealing and that on the heads. And I just stuck my hands in oil. <laughs> so Back is the, there's a brand new cam and lifters, all that. This motor had zero time on it when he changed the heads. So I got 
all the stuff we were missing for mama bears. So. Okay. Yeah. I have to make another lift plate. Wish that won't hurt to have an extra one around. Pull this ahead, then I'll get the rest of this stuff. Even got new valve covers. There's the new cam. So, Mama Bear's motor can get finished now. The dipsticks for his motor. Well, I want to get the rest of that unloaded. I'll get that onto the motor stand. I'll get that one off and get it on the motor stand. Well, I'm getting better at putting those on the stand. I would have filmed it, but I thought the last time I filmed it, it took too long. But I got her on there. Oh, jeepers. Gotta find a flywheel. And, uh... She looks pretty good, but, uh... She's a... That's wider than anything I got so I'll have to look up some more on this intake here it's a Wyland, Wyland Street Warrior so and you know what <laughs> hate when you're looking for something and you go to get a key because I gotta go out back to get the car trailer and bring it up and see what's going on with the one tire because it's for some reason eating a tire off open up where I keep my keys and I'm like uh oh where's the keys look back on my main key set and they're there so uh, beautiful day and uh, I can't remember if I said or not but talk to the guy on the Ranger I think it's gonna be pull the motor and reman it. Oh, ouch. So now that I do have the key, I'm going to go out back and get my trailer because I got to get my trailer uh, see why it's eating up that driver's side tire. Otherwise, yeah, the motor's not up there. Our truck, I got all those parts in the shop. And he went to start the truck today. And the uh, battery's dead, so there is still a draw. I said, you know what, let's just fix it all when I got the truck out here. So, anyway, I won't get hooked up to this trailer. And bring it up around and see what's going on with that front wheel so all right take a listen take a look the wind has stopped it is so freaking gorgeous out here and then, then we got this <clears throat> Already had that one off, re-greased it, and retightened it, put it back on. I guess nobody believed in uh, greasing my trailer that borrowed it. Um, I might have to go pick up more grease because I got to wash everything out. 
pull everything off, inspect the bearings, then retighten everything. And uh, yeah, I need the trailer for this weekend. And now I'm finding out it wasn't taken care of when it was borrowed. Make sure that wasn't my wife or anything. Yeah. Hey, Mike, when you watch this, that was you. <laughs> uh, you had to do some welding on a king pin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, easy lube axles. I mean, just pop out the rubbers, give it a few squirts of grease, and you're good to go. So, yep. As it already ate the front driver's side tire up, as I said earlier. And, uh, so I hope it's this beautiful out tomorrow when I take the other three off and check them and do them. I got enough cutter pins. Wasn't the answer what I was looking for. I gotta go find a new tire in the morning. And uh get her fixed. And double check the lights again. And I need a couple of lights too. Living on gravel road with these plastic lights just don't mix. I wonder what the temp is right now. It is so it says it's 61. It says it's 61. Oh, I just updated it. 63. It is gorgeous. Oh, well, 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 I had it with. Let's see what's tomorrow. Tomorrow, 60. Friday, 37 in snow. And then Saturday, 43 and sunny. And back to 53 cent and D. So I need to get my trailer fixed tomorrow. So I ain't playing in the snow Friday. This is where I wish we lived on the farm. I'd be sitting out on the deck. Doing nothing. Now that I got it on video. And if I remember I'll pull that video into this. The other day I was sitting there by the tractor. Doing something with the phone, and right over here by the maple tree came the mama deer and one deer, and then the next thing the twin was there. So I got a mama deer here with a set of twins. Must be all does, no antlers on anything. Well, the twins are young enough, I don't know when they would start even looking like. So I guess I pulled my jack back in the shop. Unhook the trailer, go home. So, and then we'll see about getting that motor fired up this week yet. And just go from there. So, that's all we can do. Yeah, y'all take care. Thanks again for everybody's well wishes and everything. And I'm here, I'm still going, just trying to get the stuff done. So, all right, see y'all later. Have a good one.